Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make, how to draw optical illusions and put them on boxes. Okay? And first thing I'm going to do is to show you some examples of two other famous artists who have done this in the past. And then I'll give you a supply list, I'll demo for you, and then you can make your own. So, one of the first people, or artists, that you may recognize this. Let's see if I can pronounce his name correctly. I put it up there at the top. Uh, Maurice Corel Estor. Um, you, let's see, have you seen this before? Very popular. One of his other drawings, you may have seen this was very popular, have been on posters. Okay? This is optical illusion. Definition of optical illusion is tricking the eye to something that's not really there or it's really not what you think it is. And the other guy I wanted to show you, Oscar. Uh, Ritasel Valde. Um, this is optical illusion, but you know what? It's totally different from the other one. So, you may have seen this. Physically speaking, you cannot create this, but you can draw it. Um, okay? There's another one of his. Okay, now, some other things I found with optical illusion, some examples. Whoa, that hurts my eyes. Okay? <laughs> Optical illusions. Uh, you know, it's like that's really cool. So, all of these, all these categories as optical illusions. I made some. Okay. The dark recesses, it looks like it's on different layers. It's not, it's all one layer. I did circles. Okay. Which circles on top? It's hard to tell. Oh, that one. Okay. I even did one on notebook paper. Okay. It, the darker ones look like they're further back, but it's flat, okay? So, let me tell you the supplies that you need. And that way you, you can collect what you need to collect. Paper, uh, most people around the house are going to have um, notebook paper or some copy paper. Need that. You're going to need a straight edge. Any type of straight edge, straight edge. If you don't have a ruler, you can do the part of uh, a box, baggies, okay? Playing cards, you can do playing cards. You can um, use the side of a book, even the side of a picture frame, okay? So long as the straight edge, that's all you need. Any uh, pencils, pens, markers, we're just using black, okay? Or a pencil, you know, gray. Okay, you'll need some glues, glue sticks, scissors, some clips. Like the hat, like you have in the uh, kitchen, or clips that you may have, like office supplies or paper clips. That's fine. Okay, some circles. Good idea. Any type of circles. You got two circles here, here inside and outside. Um, can you know? Can from the kitchen. That's fine. Okay. Any circle will do. <laughs> okay. Last thing you need for supplies is you need some cardboard and we're using things from around the house brownie box okay um hmm can see correctly yes okay so any type this you know any type of um cardboard will do because we're going to open it up and use it and we'll put our we're, we're going to make a drawing and then put it put it on this okay so any of that will do okay i'm going to turn the camera down and I'm going to show you, and this I, so you're fixing to experience a visual op, um, optical illusion because you think you're moving and you're not. The camera's moving. All right, so let me fix this here. Okay, and tighten that up. Okay, what we're going to do? I'm going to use circles and markers. It's good to use two different sizes of markers. That's very helpful. It makes it look more interesting. Okay, I'm going to do something simple for the demo. Okay. I'm using I'm using the um, line paper because I figure a lot of people will have that, so I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, now I've got two going here. I can hmm, can't really tell which which one's front and back. Okay, so now go some more. I'm going to switch this up and just make some half circles. And then you're going to be guessing which one's in front, which one's in back. So, okay. 
Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Then, okay. After you've got, uh, okay. After you've got your whole picture made, I'm I'm doing. This is short, very short. Demo. You're gonna undo your box. You're gonna flat it down here. You gotta flatten it out. You are going to be flatter this way. Okay. I am going to trace where I'm going to cut. Okay. All right. Put the lid back on your markers, you know. Okay. Scissors. Okay. Now I'm going to cut this out. Now I'm doing this. I'm not being super neat because I'm just showing you what the steps here, what you need to do. Okay. Now, yes, you will cut a little bit of your design, but that's okay. Okay, you know what I should use? I should show you um, this. It would be better. Okay. You make your design. Cut. Cut that out. Okay. Then you're ready to wrap. Okay. And you're going to use the... You can use the... the Glue stick works really good on this because this is thin paper. Okay, don't want to use cardstock because it'd be too stiff. This is already stiff. Your your actual box. You're gonna smear this all over. Okay, put it on. Put it on this the white side. Okay, because you put it on this side, some of it maybe might show through. Okay, then you can fold them. Okay, then you want to glue the sides there and fold it back into a box. You know, make your creases. Okay, and then you're going to end up with boxes like this, okay? All right. Um, and this one was brown all the way through, okay? This one was, used to be cookies, okay? <laughs> and cover it back up, you know, trinket box, gift box, whatever you want to do. So, now, to show you... Those are finished, so that's it. So, so enjoy, guys, um, and hope. Blah, 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 blah.